What is asthma? Many of us know someone with asthma, but what do we know about it? People with asthma experience symptoms when the airways tighten, inflame, or fill with mucus. Asthma symptoms include coughing, wheezing, shortness of breath, chest tightness, pain, or pressure. Not very nice. However, asthma can be controlled with proper treatment. Let's take a look at how asthma is in 2015 around the globe. There are estimated to be 7.24 billion people on the planet. So where is everyone? Well, we are spread across seven continents. Asia, Africa, North America, South America, Europe, Australia and Antarctica. In this world of ours, there are estimated to be 334 million people with asthma. That's almost 1 in 20 of us, or 4.6%. So how does that look? Take a London bus. It can carry 87 people. When applying the numbers to the passengers, this means that on average, four people on every bus would have asthma. We're not saying that all asthma sufferers are in London though. Oh no. Let's go back to our continents to look at where asthma is most prevalent. Asthma occurs in all countries. In Asia, 108.6 million. Africa, 46.6 million. North America, 35.5 million. South America, 39.9 million. In Europe, 37.6 million. The UK and Ireland have some of the highest rates of asthma in the world. Oceania, including Australia, 4.5 million. Antarctica, zero. Woohoo! But that's only because they won't let you go there if you have moderate or severe asthma. With what we have seen, it is on six continents. There are, of course, children and adults. So let's take a look at how old our 334 million people are. Well, the number 14 keeps coming up for some reason. 14% of the world's children experience asthma symptoms. The burden of asthma is greatest for children aged 10 to 14 and the elderly aged 75 to 79. Asthma is the 14th most important disorder in the world in terms of the extent and duration of the disability. Looking at children, North America has the highest prevalence at 21.6% and the Indian subcontinent the least with 7%. Globally, of 13 to 14 year olds, 14.1% show symptoms. That's more than one in seven. Which age group gets off lightly? Well, the lowest impact is borne by those aged 30 to 34. Now, how are all of these 334 million people affected? Or, to be more precise, what is the impact on their lives? It is estimated that asthma accounts for about one in every 250 deaths worldwide. Many of the deaths are preventable. Hospitalization. Take the US, for example. Nearly half, 44%, of all asthma hospitalizations are for children. Asthma is the third ranking cause of hospitalization for children. Economic cost to society. In the US, nearly one in three adults with asthma report missing at least one day of work each year because of asthma. In the UK and Ireland, about 20 million working days are lost due to asthma each year. For adults, asthma is the fourth leading cause of work absenteeism and presenteeism resulting in nearly 15 million missed or lost workdays each year, resulting in a total cost of nearly $3 billion in total lost productivity. So there you have it, a trip around the world showing you asthma in 2015. What we all need to do is become more aware of asthma and concentrate on how to manage it. Or, in an ideal world, make the rest of the world like Antarctica, Please remember that asthma is a serious disease and that if needed, patients or those caring for them should have a chat with your physician or pharmacist if you have any questions.